Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Drones. Today, I'm excited to talk about some revisions that we've made to some of our custom equipment for the Matrice 300 and 350. So what we have here are custom meter mounts that we've made. You'll see some of our older videos over the past, I would say 14, 16 months, where what we did was we had a system in place. This was like a one piece design and it was for to be able to go ahead and support and hold a handheld gas detection meter. There's a lot of agencies out there and or organizations that have very expensive handheld units and they don't have the budget to go for a dedicated built purpose one for the Matrice 300 or 350. Because these can get up in the neighborhood of about 15, starting at $15,000 and go all the way up from there. So they can be very expensive. So what a lot of agencies want to do is actually have found a way to be able to mount this securely to the aircraft where they can use the H20T camera and point the camera to the LED on the meter and get the live sensing data off of it real time. So what we did was we started building these as a one piece design, but we have in the past 16 months have gone through several iterations of this of improvement to the point where we're extremely happy with the engineered result that I'm going to show you. This is actually a three piece design and I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing is all of our 3D printed materials are super strong and we actually now have improved the design of the frames to make them over one pound lighter than our previous versions. So this aircraft just weighs in right around two pounds. So it's going to give us a lot more flexibility to be able to carry extra payload. So now also, well, the way we have this here again is this, they go in, I got three piece unit. So we're going to put this in like this. Then we have the crossbar. And let me move this over a little more toward the camera. And then everything here is, has indications on here for direction and orientation. The locking collar design is like the same thing as the stock landing gear. We have really good cotter pins that we put in here to make sure this as a triple redundancy so that these locking collars don't back out. So that's the airframe and the improvements of the airframe that we made. We went with a completely different meter design to where we went with, an, with an, a unit that is very, very versatile for different sizes. So again, this is the typical size that many agencies have, but we also have a lot of flexibility for height. So we can go ahead and make it as big as this. That height, or we can go all the way down. Plus we can even get more room with on the back side here. These are slotted so we can then put the bottom assembly and push that in even more to go in for a lot more smaller mount. Also our upper claws and our lower claws are slotted where we can now have a lot more adjustment for the thickness, the width of the meter itself. We can go as wide as this, or we can go really narrow with our slots. In fact, we can even have more adjustment up here as well. So we really, really put a lot of time and effort into engineering this. We have updated our little ends that we put on here where we used to use foam. Now these are mach uh, machined as well so that they really bite into and have nice good clamping force for the meter. So 
this works really well. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go outside and I'm going to demonstrate how it works. We picked a really good day because it is gusty today. We have been already up in the air, seeing up to 24 miles an hour. So at this weight, we're going to really get to see how stable this is. Now, again, we have about five pounds of payload total right here between the H20T camera, the gas meter itself, and the airframe mount. So now let's go ahead and get this up in the air. So as you can see, in the air, it's very stable without even doing the center of gravity calibration as of yet. So I'm going to go ahead and pan the camera back to the meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate this just a little bit. I'm going to yaw the aircraft. And I'm going to zoom down just a little more and then refocus it. And now it's readable. So now, as you can see, it says 20.90000. And again, we can go ahead and bring the even that EV down a little bit if you want. Now we got a little bit of shadow in there, so we can just get yaw the aircraft. To now, as you can see, when I yaw the aircraft just a little more, we're getting that sunlight right there. And that is absolutely ideal right there. It's crystal clear. There's no shadows in there. And that's how you're going to be able to use it. And you can see it's nice and stable. It's not moving around. So right now we're seeing between 15 to 24 miles an hour wind. And the aircraft has to be able to go ahead and roll to compensate for that wind. So you'll see that's why it's banking the way it is. But it's stable even in these wind conditions at this weight. So as you can see, there always will be an offset with the dual mount because of the way the actual camera is offset left to right. So if you want a direct on connection with the camera, you want to go ahead and use a single camera mount. So as you can see from the flight demonstration, it's very stable even in wind gusts up to 25 miles an hour without any problems with about a five pound payload, which is really, really good. So, you know, we're very happy with the way we engineered this system. If you have any questions, let us know. We are taking orders. We have these in stock ready to ship. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.